This is a GNS3 IPsec lab. In this lab, you need to configure an IPsec VPN between customer router 1 and customer router 2. This is a GNS3 labs topology. The tasks are to firstly configure the customer routers, customer router 1 and customer router 2 with IP addresses per the topology. You then need to create a DHCP pool on the customer routers to allocate IP addresses to the Ubuntu clients in the relevant subnets. So customer router 2 is configured with this IP address in network 10.120/24, and customer router 1 is configured with this IP address in subnet 10.110/24. So configure the relevant DHCP pool details and note that a DNS server is configured on ISP2 with IP address 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. So as an example, if I open up a console on ISP router 3, this router is configured with name server information pointing to this DNS server. So this router should be able to ping cisco.com, which it can. In this topology, this Docker container is acting as cisco.com and ISP router 2 is configured as a DNS server. This router has the DNS service running. So I've typed this command IP DNS server and I've included a name resolution for cisco.com. So other devices in the topology, such as ISP1 as an example, are able to ping cisco.com based on the resolution performed by ISP2. ISP2 once again is configured as a DNS server. It's got a secondary IP address configured on this interface with IP address 8.8.8.8. .8 so in other words, it's pretending to be google.com. So this IP address is the IP address that you're going to point your clients to through the DHCP pool. Once you've configured IP addresses on your client routers and configured the DHCP pool, you need to enable NAT on the customer routers so the Ubuntu hosts can access cisco.com. So make sure that these Ubuntu clients receive IP addresses through DHCP from the customer routers and that they can ping cisco.com with their addresses netted by the customer routers. Remember, the ISP routers are on the internet. Network 10 is a non-routable IP address. So the ISP routers have no visibility of Network 10. These routers are running both BGP and OSPF mimicking a small ISP on the internet. In subsequent labs, I'll make this more complicated and we'll configure multiple ISPs and enable larger BGP networks. Now, once you've got the basic infrastructure working, IP addresses, DHCP pool, and NAT, you need to configure an IPsec VPN between customer 1 and customer router 2. This will allow the Ubuntu hosts to communicate using RFC 1918 addresses. So make sure that Ubuntu 1 can ping Ubuntu 2 and Ubuntu 2 can ping Ubuntu 1 through the IPsec tunnel established across the internet. Make sure that ISP2 and other ISP routers don't have network 10 in their routing table, but ensure that these PCs can ping each other. So in other words, to verify that you've completed the lab, 
make sure that the Ubuntu PCs can ping each other. Make sure that they can ping Cisco.com by being nutted by Customer Router 1 and Customer Router 2. This lab contains a number of elements that you need to think carefully about. So as an example, you shouldn't be natting traffic from Customer Site 2 to Customer Site 1 and Customer Site 1 to Customer Site 2, but you should be natting the internal hosts when they try to access any addresses on the internet. So think carefully how you're configuring your IPsec tunnels and your NAT. In this lab, I'm using Cisco IOS V images, specifically this image and Ubuntu Docker containers. You can download the Cisco IOS V images from viral.cisco.com. You'll need to pay for a viral subscription if you don't have download rights. Cisco viral images are recommended by GNS3 for creating and testing Cisco networks in GNS3. So can you complete this lab? Can you get the lab working? Download the attached GNS3 portable project and then import it by going to File, Import Portable Project. I've created this project using GNS3 version 2.1 so you'll need GNS3 version 2.1 or later to import the project. So again, download and import the GNS3 project and see if you can complete the lab yourself. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to complete this lab.